Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. So John Morant will get 25 games, and this is to his most recent gun flashing incident on social media. Um, it... He will begin to serve this 20-game suspension this upcoming season. And plus, um, Adrian Wojnarowski reporting conditions for his um, return. So, So, they announced this a little bit later. The hope is that this suspension will be the last one ever served in NBA. And from a basketball perspective, he needs to be on the court as much as possible for the Grizzlies. From a societal point of view, young people still look up to him, which is why he will always be seen in a different light. And, of course, he went on there, um, his website, and basically apologized to the fans and especially the young kids for him, you know, being a bad role model. Now, the conditions, um, there will be conditions, of course, um, sources tell Espen, you know, after he serves his 25 games, you know, he's still not out to Greece. <laughs> you know, he still has to um, go through trials you know, and tribulations to figure out, you know, if he mentally is able to um, get himself back right. One of the things that, um, one of the things that he actually has to learn is he has to learn that, look, I can't record everything on IG. He can't. You can't put your stuff out there. Now, is it okay to have a gun and all of that? Yeah, I, I I, mean, a lot of people own one. I mean, but the thing is, you are a basketball player, and you can't be caught with this. You're a black man with dreads, with cuts in your eyebrow. They associate that with trying to be gangster or thuggish, ruggish. <laughs> you know, they, they always think of that, but it's cool for the blonde hair guy like Trevor Lawrence, who got long hair, he's a nice guy. He's not nobody to be scared of. But when it come to us, you know, we're seen as that. But the first time he got a slap on the wrist, he should have learned from that. And now this second time, he's getting 25 games. There's people who say, well, he got off light. I mean, I felt like it should have been 25 to 30 games from the get-go. I said that. You know, I said that. I felt like it should have gone that way. Um, it, sh it shouldn't be 40 or 50 games. No, he's still a child. We have to understand. Did he make a mistake? Absolutely. You know, should it have been more severe? I don't believe it should have been more severe. I believe it was fine. Um, to me, even... After he serves 25 games, he's going to have to get reinstated. And that's where the issue is going to come in. Did he learn anything? Did he make all of his did he make all of his dates? He's supposed to go see a therapist or whoever or, you know, whoever he has to see or whatever the conditions are. Is he going to meet them? He has to meet certain conditions. And if you don't meet certain conditions, that could be your ass, Mr. Postman. <laughs> that could be it. And Ja is a phenomenal player. I've loved Ja since college, but Ja has got to learn. You're on a bigger scope. You're you're bigger. You know, you are you are on the levels of being this generation's like their guy, one of their greatest ever to play the game. Now, to me, to me, I believe what he needs to do, he needs to just sit back. Just just lay lay down lay down on your bed, man, with your back on the bed, look up at the look up at the ceiling. And just think about all the things that has transpired all the time that you've been let off the hook. 
you're given another chance. You only got 25. If this was David Stern, the first time that happened, he would have been gone for half the season, probably all of the season damn near, because David Stern ruled with an iron fist. You know, I, but I'm not giving him any allowances. I love this kid. To me, he's still a kid. He's like one of my little cousins, one of my little one of my little nephews. He's around that age. But do I think that he can grow from this? Absolutely. I believe he can get better. I just believe he just has to learn. Look, I, I can't do what everybody does. My homeboys want to go party. I can't go partying at times. I got to go here. Um, my homeboys want to wild out. I can't wild out. And, and his homeboys, you guys got to do a better damn job. You got to do a better job. Yeah, his father can tell. His father didn't did his job. I don't want to hear no more of that. Well, his dad need to talk. His dad did his goddamn job. He's in the NBA. All right, he made it. Now, what he needs to do is either his friends are going to check him or he's going to have to get some new friends. And plus, he needs to check himself first and foremost. He has to check himself. He has got to stop with all this thinking he's above the law. You're not above the law. He should have never shown the gun the first time, even though I felt like it was his first offense. You know, he should have just got slapped on the wrist or got three or four games at most, you know. But this time, you know, I thought he was going to get about 30, 35 games. He got 25, so I was about five or ten games off. So, you know, this is the things that we need to understand. You know, we have to understand we can't come down hard on this kid. And I'm and and a lot of people and a lot of people don't understand is that you know, he's still a kid. And I think Commissioner Silver and the board of directors even looked at it, even though this was because of a monetary thing. You know. So the monetary had to be first and foremost. You know. You know. This is about business. And people got to understand, the NBA is a business. Basketball is a sport. So, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter about, about the, um, oh, if it's right or wrong and stuff. He's still a kid. You know, he's a kid. You know, we still have to remember he's a he's a jit. <laughs> and a lot of people act like they never did any dumb stuff, even though it wasn't on the internet. You still done some dumb stuff in person. So we have to realize that there's bigger things at stake here. And it's a young man getting himself on track. I don't want to see Ja being taken out. So I don't want to see him fail. I want to see him be better than most. I want to see him continuously grow. I want him to learn from this. I want him to make it and I want him to be good. You know, the people on the internet are going to be goofies all day. A lot of these people on the internet, in my opinion, are goofballs. You know, they talk all these joints. 
this trash and stuff. And then at the end of the day, you know, if, if they were in the same position, they probably would do worse. They wouldn't even know how to handle it. So, you know, this is the thing. But 25 games, in my opinion, you know, you know, it is what it is. But he has to go through conditions before he can get back on the court. I hope he meets those conditions. You know, I hope he does well. But but from a brother to a brother, you know, we, we've got to stop condoning tearing down black men. He messed up. And, yes, it's, it's cool to say, man, you acting stupid and you doing this. Like I told you guys, I don't agree with Kwame Brown when he call him NBA dumb boy. I just don't because the message that he's giving in that topic talking about him, he's making great sense, but it's going to be overshadowed because they're only going to take one word he says, and that's dumb boy. And they're just going to run that and they're not going to run the jewels that he's dropping. So that's the only issue I have with that. But this is last chance. This is your last chance, Ja. I mean, <laughs> this is your last chance. You mess up again, you out the league, bro. It's not, it, it, you know, it might be half a season next time. To me, I think it'll be the season next time. If he, if he messes up again, it's going to be the season and potentially never coming back. I'm serious. So he has to get himself together because they could take it all away from you. Don't be naive, you know, don't be naive and think because your talent is so great and you bring money in that they can't find another you. Trust me, if they find another you in the next coming years, oh, you're out. You're definitely out the league. So let me know in the comment section, man, what you guys think about the suspension. Do you think it was too light? Do you think it was too severe? Do you think he, um, do you think, um... Yeah, do you think it was too light? Do you think it um it wasn't do you think it was too light or too severe? Do you believe he should have got more games? I believe 25 is enough. Plus he has to go through a certain requirement to get back on the court, which is a stipulation that they put in put in for him to get back, which I I I totally agree with. Um he has to learn, you know, get himself people saying it's too lenient and it's not too lenient. Like, listen. <laughs> this is second offense all right he didn't kill nobody he didn't shoot nobody he didn't pistol whip nobody okay he just flashed a pistol he's getting what he got to me i think he got off light this time in my opinion because um he should have got i thought he was going to get 30 or 35 games tops that's what i thought you know i was five or ten games off but hey it is what it is so thank you guys for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. If you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by going to my description box, hitting that link to my cash app to donate whatever your hearts desire. And you guys can also um, leave a super chat. You know, you can leave a um, super chat in the... Um, well, excuse me, <laughs> I'm going too fast. You can go to the Cash App, donate. That's in the description box. You can also find me on Zelle. Zelle, basically, you know, you can find my name and, you know, you see that in the description box. You can donate with Zelle. Also, you guys can super chat when we go live or premiere, when we have a premiere video or go live. And if you come after the video's premiered or went live, you guys can rewatch it and also leave a super thanks. So thank you guys for your love and support. We're out. Deezy.